All right, folks, you got Mark with MRD Farms, and today we're out on the farm, of course. Where else would I be but here? And, um, yeah, we are installing a septic system for a future house. So everybody's going to sit there and say, well, this looks pretty funny. What, what, what kind of septic system are you putting in here? Well, this is an alternative septic system which means now you got the holding tank, but you've also got a, another tank with filters and all this great stuff because I couldn't get a gravity system um, approved out here. Let me change uh, locations here. I'll be right, right back with you and we'll talk more about this. All right, folks, we're back with you here. And so explain about the alternative septic system versus the gravity system. So couldn't get the gravity system approved out here because, well, the soil is not conducive to a uh, gravity system. So we had to go with an alternative septic system, which means the pump, the filters, all that stuff, and it goes into the leach field here, which is a drip irrigation system. Oh yeah, so instead of putting a $10,000 gravity system in, yeah, we're forced with a $30,000 system to put this in here. So in the Virginia Department of uh, Health, was what they approved through the environmentalists because they came out here and did they did the soil samples and everything like that and all did a soil analysis this was all we could do out here so we've got the drip irrigation system lines in here and you're looking at the lines and you'll see two different lines in here so one is for outbound to the lines so it drips whatever doesn't drip is recycled back to the holding tank back down there where the uh, John Deere 35G uh, mini excavator is so stuff will come in from the house over here into the holding tank going through the pump filtration into the lines that will be connected here uh, probably on Monday or something like that and uh, yeah today is Friday uh, December 13th yeah how about that Friday the 13th and here we are out here uh, in 37 degree weather uh, doing septic system but it is what it is so the lines uh, will, will get all full backfilled here once the inspection is totally done and everything will be backfilled and all that. So, to help facilitate some of this stuff, like I said, we got the, the contractor has his John Deere 35G mini excavator and we also have a John Deere 333 Skitzer. So, uh, the field's getting tore up. It is what it is. I gotta laugh. It is what it is. Um, but uh, we'll get this uh, straightened out in time for spring and hopefully get the hay field, hay, hay situation straightened back out. So we just, you know, gotten into the rain and it is what it is. It's going to get tore up. So he's backfilled. Uh, actually, the water truck, I didn't catch any video of it. The water truck was out here and both the tank, the holding tank and the filter tank were filled with water. So um, they don't come up out of the ground. And uh, it was backfilled around those. So that way the, uh, uh, the tanks don't push out and everything like that. So there's some, some earth there to hold it in and take care of that. And it is cold out here today. Uh, got a little bit of wind blowing out here. And it's just uh, hopefully that's not interfering with what's going on. Anyhow, folks. Uh, MRD Farms, what are we doing? Well, we're doing a septic, we got the well in. Um, man, spring, hopefully we'll get the foundation dug and, and uh, get, get that done and then get the uh, framers in here and get the house framed and get it dried in and continue on with this. In the meantime, trying to get this field back in shape. Holy crap. Uh, <laughs> for, for a season, I have to laugh, man. It is what it is. This is what you're going to do is what happens it gets tore up in the van oh man i don't have to put down uh, hundreds and hundreds of pounds of grass seed and some nitrogen to get this crap growing again and then i got all this gravel holy crap we got to get rid of all this so <clears throat> and some rock you can believe this so soil composition i know somebody's going to ask that one what do you mean that you had soil composition wasn't wasn't uh, conducive well 
as you look back in there, I don't know if you can tell, we've got anywhere from six to 10 inches of topsoil. The rest of the subsoil is all clay. Um, it, it drains, it drains, uh, but it's just wasn't the, when the environmentalists were out here doing it, they, it wasn't conducive to uh, a, a gravity system. And, and so, but there's very few rock that was actually dug up out of the clay. Here's some of the rock that we found. It's small, it's manageable, nothing huge, but uh, there is some of that in there. Don't ask me, I have no idea what the kind of rock that is, uh, but it breaks apart. So, um, yeah, I don't know, but uh, we do have some of this on here. So, other than that, the hole is uh, what the hole is, and uh, it produces <laughs> either <laughs> subsoil or, or topsoil, or you know, uh, thank God it's not shale uh, and stuff like that. We don't have that problem out here, it's just it's clay soil. Uh, around here on the farm. You would think after 150 years of farming out here that this field would be better uh, with more topsoil and unfortunately it's not man. Um, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, uh, it's Friday afternoon, December 13th, like I've already said before. Friday the 13th, wonderful. And uh, man, I'll tell you, it's cold to be oper operating open cab out here today. That's crazy. But uh, my man was uh, out here doing it, and he was uh, in some car hearts and staying trying to stay warm. Anyway, folks, <clears throat> I'll be sure to update once you guys finish and take a look at what's what going on here. Uh, because uh, I'm sure there's probably you want to know more about alternative septic systems, designs, questions, whatever. These things ain't cheap. There's a lot of money involved here. So, <clears throat> anyway... Here's a close-up of the uh, tanks, you can see that, and uh, they're half full of, well, the black one is full of water, and the green one is half full, because they still got to plumb it right where that red uh, cap is. That's where it's got to get plumbed uh, to go up the hill here to those lines there. That's all got to still be connected, and they're dug out and everything like that, so there's still some work needs to be done, but they had to get some backfill in here uh, for these tanks. Anyway, folks, this is MRD Farms, and we'll talk to you all later, give you a view off to the west of the mountains.